Now it is time for, this is maybe my biggest idea of the year. Every week, hundreds, thousands of people come to Hollywood in search of a dream. Some of them want to be actors, some of them want to be singers, most of them just want to be famous. I created a show for those people, people who don't need talent because they have a little something called it. So we put an ad on Craigslist, which is where they, they find most of the contestants for these reality competition shows on Craigslist. And we invited people to audition for a show called Do You Have What It Takes? We gave no details other than this, all right? Come, if you have what it takes, we'd love to hear from you. They had no idea who was involved uh, until they walked in the audition room and saw me and our panel of judges. So here it is. This is part reality show, part social experiment, episode one of Do You Have What It Takes? Hollywood, California, the place where dreams are made. Our mission is simple, find a superstar. But to be a star, you have to prove one thing. Do you have what it takes? Hi there, I'm Kenny Main, coming to you from Hollywood, California, the Lowe's Hotel, where dozens of hopefuls have traveled from around the world to try to prove to America that they have what it takes. Guys, do you have what it takes? <laughs> Electric. Our judges are gonna have a very difficult time trying to separate that type of talent. Let's meet the judges now. Four-time Grammy winner Rosanda Chili Thomas of the Grill Supergroup TLC definitely has what it takes. You gotta have the whole package. Malcolm Jamal Warner is best known for his role as Theo on The Cosby Show. All I'm looking for is somebody who could bring it. All of it. Ali Fedotowski came into the spotlight on The Bachelorette and is currently a correspondent for E! Exclamation Point News. I have a really good feeling about today. And the talk show host and appendicitis survivor, a man who has what it takes and then some, Jimmy Kimmel. I'm looking for someone who's different. You have to have unique in it. That's what you need. As the judges strap in, a room full of hopefuls prepare for their moment of truth. Kicking it off, this person. Oh, I studied acting, I took some singing, I played the piano. I used to work for TWA Airlines in the 90s. Hi. Hello. Hi. I'm Gregory Town. I'm going to sing a little bit in Spanish and a little bit in English. Bailar de lejos is no bailar. Dos Can I stop you for a second, Gregory? Yeah, my... This is not a singing competition. Right. OK. Do you have what it takes? So, so, so what are you guys looking We're for? We're looking for somebody who has it. Yes. Like a look? It. Let us know. It, everything. Oh, OK. So, Malcolm? I don't, I don't think you have what it takes. <laughs> Allie? Um, I just don't know that you're here for the right reason. So I have to say, no. Chili? Hell no. <laughs> Sorry. Thank you, thank you. Gregory's elimination rattled the remaining hopefuls. Yeah, I'm a little nervous. Wondering if I have what it takes, I guess. I don't know what's happening. If the former TWA employee didn't have what it takes, who would? Taylor. Hi. Tell us a little bit about yourself. Um. I don't know, I, I'm good at just talking to people and listening to people, and yeah, I think that's, that's about it, communication. Do you have what it takes? Allie? Okay. Um, there's something about you. I think you might have it. I say yes. Chili? Yeah, I agree. Malcolm? I would love to see you back. I think you might have what it takes. I'm going to send you through. Congratulations, Taylor. So do I just go this way? Yeah, you just go over that way. Thank you. Thank Bye. you. I knew I'd make it to the next round because I um, am just real. Like, I brought myself out there. Like, I was just being myself, and the judges seem to really like me. So. Some dreams are dashed. Others are kept alive. Here's more of that happening. That was very good, especially for a white guy with child sunglasses on. <sighs> Give me some of your chocolate! I'm gonna have to say no. Usually I like to do um, sauces for pastas. You're going on in the next round. <laughs> As the day came to a close, hired judges agreed to see one more person. <sighs> oh, man. 
nervous. Sorry, yeah. Breathe. Yeah. You good? Why are you nervous, Ronald? I'm nervous because uh, I don't want to look like I didn't do enough. You know, I know I got talent in me, but it's just a matter of fleshing it out. You know? It needs to come out. Bring yeah. it out. Because if I'm at a party, I tend to go like that. But if I'm at a party, it's my mom, my brother. I'm like, yo, stop. Yo. <laughs> I get loose, and, and something come out of me. I say, dang, where did that come from? You do, so it's just, you know, you do believe like, yeah. that you have what it takes, right? That's yeah, why you're I here. Yeah, I believe that. You know what I mean? Yeah. Okay. You don't sound convinced, though. Yeah. Yeah, I, I know. Yeah. <laughs> Malcolm? Um, so I would, have to, I would have to say no. OK, can I do, can I do, can I do, uh, my favorite celebrity, NBA celebrity walks? Yes. First I'll do uh, Michael Jordan. Yeah. <laughs> Shaquille O'Neal. <laughs> and uh, I could do Larry Fishburne's walk. Larry Fishburne. Chili, what do you think? I don't know. What do you think, Allie? Um, Ronald, I like you. I like you a lot. I think that you have it. I do. I'm gonna say yes, too. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you, right. Thank you. Yeah. So next time, brother, you gotta bring it. I will. Okay. I will. Okay. Thank you. Malcolm was like a big help, like a confidence boost. He just said, go hard. And I'm gonna just use that throughout my career, just go hard. It felt good. That made me want to be a better person to be entertaining. If having what it takes were easy, we'd all have it. But nothing worth having ever comes easy, and it is no exception. What do you guys think? It's a good day. Ooh. Yeah. It's a lot of people. I think some of them might have what it takes. On the next, do you have what it takes? I am creating emotional dialogue. It's been psychologically healing for my own psyche. So I am all yours. I made it through a lot of people, and I'm the only one here. And I really want to thank you for everything. No. Thank you, Dad. Why are you crying? Do you have to say it? Episode two is next week. You'll move, Ryan Seacrest. Hi, I'm Jimmy Kimmel. Did you know there are things other than pornography on the internet? Watch them on the Jimmy Kimmel Live YouTube channel, which, much like your own body, I encourage you to explore.